This is the article writing tutorials for beginners. Not only that, but how you can make money online writing articles. That's what I will be showing you in this tutorial. And I have a gift for you. I will be giving three giveaways in this singular tutorial. And I'm giving away Grammarly Premium Login. Now to win these, you have to watch the whole tutorial. And I will announce those that will win and what will make you win as we proceed in this tutorial. I'm covering seven topics in this tutorial. How do you get topics to write about? Very simple. Two ways. Either you search for this topic yourself, which we call keyword research, or your client gives you this topic, which is if you are a freelancer or you're writing for a guest post or a guest blog, whatever place you want to write for, they're going to give you the topics to write about and that's it. Now, most people don't want to write for themselves. They want to write for clients and get paid and you're asking, how do I get these clients? All of that I'm going to tell to you. Just keep watching. But then, how long should an article be there is no real length for articles it can be 500 words it can be 1000 words it can be 2000 words it can be 5000 words depending on what you want or what your niche is saying or what others are written or what your client says they want because this takes me to the next question how do i charge my client if you're not writing for yourself how do you charge your client it's always by the length of an article a 500 word article the pricing is different from a 1000 word article so you charge by the number of words for example, you can charge $5 for a 500 words and then you can charge $10 for a 1000 words but then you can charge $50 as well for a 1000 words depending on if you're a pro or you're a beginner or you're an elite or you're just there. So writing is not the same. What makes you a pro? I am a top rated writer on Fiverr. What makes you a pro? I will explain to you in this tutorial. Everything is loaded. Just make sure you are watching so you don't miss anything. Okay, so if you are a beginner, you might want to know how long will it take before I can write an article. The very first time I wrote an article, it took me a whole month before I could figure out what to write without plagiarism and and original content all of this it won't take you that long because I'm going to shred everything to you it takes between 30 minutes to write a full article and sometimes a whole month depending on the skills you have the skills you need everything will be taught here in this single tutorial that's why I just want you to keep watching now let's start the nitty-gritty go over to Google and type google.com because you want to get a topic by the way if you don't know how to get topics and you want to write for yourself I'll leave in the description below the keyword research tool that we are you to do this for free it will be in the description below just go there you see that particular tutorial you can see that after this video and then we can move on from there but then when you get to Google you have to pick a topic so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to pick a topic how to cope with the death of a husband that's a niche and I want to write about that let's go learn everything on the spot the first thing i want you to do before even jumping to researching or anything is for you to say what you have on your mind is what really makes the personal touch appear so for me for example the first thing that comes to mind is how do you cope when you have a dead husband i'm thinking financially so i type financial and then you also have emotional i type that loneliness sexuality family issues arising all these topics is what is coming to my head if your husband is dead how do you cope with the sexuality now you've been used to it now you don't have it again and how do you cope with the emotions you are crying you're doing all of sort of that those things i have to put out first before i do anything that is the person that touch and what is called personal experience or inclination this is the number one thing that separates a pro from a beginner if you are a pro what you have in you is what oozes out and that's what gives you a personal touch so before you go about looking for anything or quilling anything or changing anything first of all let's know what you think about the topic but then that's not all after you've typed out this topic the next thing you do now is, is to like this video so that the algorithm of YouTube will know that we are here. And now from your main topic, what I do is I develop these ideas that I have into something that has to do with subtopics. Remember, the topic is how to cope with the death of a husband. Then I go over, if I say for example financially, then I can say how to cope with financial stress after husband's demise. You see that? That's now a title. It's not just financial. Financial makes no sense, but now I've made it a title that represents my main topic. I hope you're getting this. Then I can say how to stop crying for the death of a husband. 
that now is under emotional you know how to deal with in-laws after the death of your husband that's another title then i keep putting this up as my subtitle but then look at this after you have done your own personal touch you can't just go ahead and write no you need to know what google is ranking on that particular topic you need to know what they are covering what your personal touch is is to add more to whatever google is doing so it can see you as more authority than those that are ranking for it how do you do this let me show it to you you go over to google and then you type your main title which is how to cope by the way you can do this with any niche whatever niche is the same strategy then you type your main title how to cope after the death of your husband then you now see titles that pops out of there now from the title that pops out the only thing you have to do now is go through each one and i always recommend go through four to eight of the first top ten it's very important look at what they covered then when you're looking at what they're covering you are documenting it if you see oh this title is good too now they're going to be influencing what to think that's why you don't want to go there first otherwise they're going to kill everything in you which is not going to make your blog original you know that the first metrics that google ranks is originality if whatever you are writing has existed before google will not rank you except it's new and you don't want to do a new thing that goes off what google wants to rank so you want to rank at the pace at which they are that's why you have to write your own first before you go to them i hope this is clear and then you take notes of whatever they are seen or whatever they are treated in subtitles that you think you can add to yours and then what do you do next you mix it together and make it form subtitles that is where formatting comes in the first one you're going to use is your headline and then you arrange all your subtitles just after that maybe you have eight now or you have ten that is the bulk of your article i can tell you if you can get this done you are almost 60 percent gone of this article that will be original that will not have plagiarism and it's as simple as i'm just telling you what do you do next after now then it's not time to flesh up this article it's time to input words under each one remember you have a targeted word so if your targeted word is 1500 you know that's your limit if your targeted word is 5000 you know that's where you're going and how do you start this all in all you now start feeling there are three approaches to the real article writing the number one way is for you to write off your head for example if my title is how to cope with financial stress after husband demise I can just start typing and say now after the death of your husband you may be under some financial restrictions you now have to get a job or you can't get a job because you are still grieving and you still have your children to deal with i've started writing a blog i've started writing an article so you can write off your head if you know that topic very well but i can bet you that most of the time you may know nothing about the topic you are trying to write for so what do you do next you can use strategy two and strategy three strategy two is for you to go back to google and type google translate when you get to google and you type google translate it's going to pop up the normal google translate and then you can take each of your subtitles and put it inside google translate when you put it there it's going to translate it for you into another language most of the time you can use german you can use spanish you can use italian depending on the kind of niche you are trying to look for who are the people that have interest in love life and are so romantic and emotional then you can even use sweden you can use india you know that kind of thing when you pop this in it's going to pop out for you you copy that and then paste it back on google it will bring out such intent from those countries in that world what do you do change it back to english meanwhile the original root is in that language now you can use your browser chrome browser whatever you're using to change these to english everything you see in here will not exist on the english version of google then you can now copy and paste as you arrange individually under all your subtitles is this difficult absolutely no when you do this you have a full-blown article now number three is almost identical what you do here is instead of going to google translate you go over to google itself in english type the same thing all these words you've seen you would pick part of it please ensure you don't pick from one website pick from six seven eight websites a bit here a bit here a bit here a bit here that's what you go through and then you attach them together to form your own article which to google will be original because you are bringing from different places if you go over to one page or you go to two or three pages and then you bring what's there google will recognize that as something that has existed it will not rank that article or see it as an original content fair enough but if you get it directly from english if you use it that way that is what we call plagiarism which i'm going to get to in a minute 
that will also hamper Google from seeing it because Google sees it as something you have copied from somewhere else. So what do you go? You go over to quillboat.com and those things you have compiled from Google that you have seen from these articles, you pick them up from there and then paste it on Quillboat. Quillboat allows you for free to use 700 words per time you squeal, but then if you want the premium version, you can do that and do 10,000 words once, which is cool as well. And it's also cheap. I also get to how to get these tools for free and for cheap. And then you go over there and quill it. It's going to change it for you. We have standard, we have fluency, we have creative, we have different forms you can try out. And when you think this is good for you, you copy it and paste and now you have a full-blown article like this video if you are getting value from this if you're enjoying it like the video to support me but then all of this is good and smooth but i have to tell you the truth there is almost a hundred percent chance that these articles you've written will have plagiarism what is plagiarism anytime you copy something that exists online it's already existed google will see it as duplicate copy that is what plagiarism is all about and google does not take this lightly it penalizes so do clients if you're writing for clients and you can see any out of plagiarism they will no longer trust you as an article writer so what do you do before you go ahead to submit any article or post any blog post make sure you check for the plagiarism now you might be wondering how do i check this let me recommend for you three tools that can do this for you easy number one is copyspace.com it will feature plagiarism and actually highlight those parts that are plagiarized we also have quicktext.com also does the same thing and then we have grammarly.com now grammarly.com belongs to google which is what i recommend because if google is the police and it's also the thief which one is better if the police tells you go then you are certain the thief will not catch you and if the thief says stay you already know what i mean so grammarly is what i use myself personally it has never failed and that's what google uses as well even to check for their own plagiarism now to the giveaway i promised in the beginning of this tutorial that i'm going to give three people the grammarly premium login it's time to give that all you have to do is go to the description below you see a link for sign up for grammarly use that link and sign up for grammarly and you will be on the run to win this two people are going to win this all for you to do is for you to sign up using that link for free and then you will be in the road for winning these now if you want to assess these tools on a cheap something that you can buy on your own if you want that either quillboat or you're talking of grammarly or any other tool let me show you the website you can get that from for cheap and i mean more than 50 75 percent discount go to 247 cash dollars dot com when you get to 247 cash dollars you can see all the tools they have there for five dollars you can get any tool here and then you can purchase this there i hope that's fair enough now i will not forgive myself if i don't tell you these two things about article writing number one is what separates a pro from a beginner three things separates them and i'm going to tell you the three if you want to be a pro this is what you should put in mind number one is the instinct and the flair remember when we are to write this article what makes our content original content is the fact that we can think and type what we assume or what we think people will have interesting that's the first thing so if you want to be a pro you need to be able to ascertain and evaluate things which buttresses back to knowledge if you are not knowledgeable enough or you don't have instincts or you don't have the flair it's going to be difficult because you only rely on what other people had written even if you rewrite these articles it will not have plagiarism but it will not be original content so you are still under the danger of not being a pro make sure you are reading a lot of books either the ones you need or not so that your brain can really implode and explore the varieties that exist everywhere in the world number two is what we call the deep research a lot of people when they want to write articles just by what i just showed we just go back to google or translate and the first thing they see they pull out and the first topic that covers all their topics they just spill it and then they say they have an article it's not going to be original that is just waste of time but then for people who are pros they take time to deep research about every topic that's why we charge more i'm a top rated writer on fiverr and i understand that what i do is always deep research so when i have a title i can research for two days before i start writing so that i will have enough knowledge about topics and then i can go in depth to cover even things that have not been covered in that niche before so if you want to be a pro put it to yourself to do deep research research and research every line of keywords every 
every line of subtopics, you have to research and research until you know you have covered all. That's what makes a pro. Number three is what I call patience and productivity. You won't be a pro if you are not writing with speed. You will not also be a pro if you have no patience. A lot of people just want to get over done with whatever they are writing. They don't look at it again. That's why their tenses are bad. They now need to give proofreaders to read for them. If you are going to be a pro, you don't need a proofreader because you are patient enough to solidly look at the article, check them out one by one, make sure everything is correct, and that's when you become a pro. Now, I won't go if I don't also mention that your grammar needs to be solid. Whatever country you are, I assume you're going to be writing in English, your English needs to be cool. You have to have the good command of English. Otherwise, you're going to write something that is not readable, and readability is also a ranking factor on Google. So you have to make sure you're writing well, or in whatever language you're writing, you need to make sure that is up as well. Okay, let me show to you where to sell your articles if you have written one for yourself and how to make money from these articles. Look here and you see this tutorial. I already treated all of that. Click it now and get how to sell your tutorials and how to make money of it. Let's go, let's go, let's go.